Hey guys, it's Warren here again with Copeland Small Engine Repair. Uh, today I'm going to be talking about uh, how to put these big John Deere zero turns into freewheel, uh, which basically just means to make them roll really easy in case you had to push it or pull it, you know, if it dies and you can't move it. Uh, I also need to let you know if you ever pull a zero turn or a ride mower with a vehicle like a car or a truck, you need to pull it very, very slowly. Because uh, if you pull it too fast, you're going to damage the transmission. So just be sure you don't pull them too fast. Uh, but if you ever, this thing where it breaks down and you need to roll it or push it by hand, uh, you need to be able to put it in freewheel so it'll roll really easy. And if you look on here, here's the pump. This is the hydraulic pump uh, for the transmissions on the rear wheels. And this is the seat. That's the front of the mower and you just look down at this pump and on each side of this pump there's a bolt sticking out it's like a bolt with a little tiny head on it and there's a big nut around the outside of it this big nut's just a lock nut so once you get this thing this center bolt uh turned in and don't torque it down and break anything just get this thing snug turn it in until it's snug and then you're going to put a wrench on this and tighten it down and it's just a lock to keep this from vibrating and coming back out while you're using it uh, this is a eight millimeter and this big one is a 17 millimeter and that's pretty much all there is to it when you want to freewheel it crack this big nut loose and back it off a little bit then back this center one out a few turns and there's one on each side of the mower there's one right here too the lock nut is missing off of this side but here's the the center bolt but you do this on both sides uh, once you back this out, this zero turn will roll very, very easily. Now, once you get it repaired or you're done moving it or whatever you need to do, you need to make sure this lock nut's backed off, turn the center one in till it's snug, then tighten the outer one down to lock it into place and you're done. And now the mower will move under its own power when the engine's running. Uh, but anyway, that's all there is to it. It's just those two. There's one on each side of the pump. Uh, you just got to back that center bolt out a few turns and it'll roll very, very easily. All right. Thanks for watching.